What's up, guys? I'm going to show you guys uh, one of my favorite submissions from uh, either mount or side control. Okay. I do this a lot, and this has actually been requested a lot on the YouTube channel. So, what I'm going to be doing is kind of like a step over arm bar triangle hybrid. Okay. And uh, a couple of things I'm looking for when I'm doing this are one, I'm looking for any angle I could kick over the back of his hips. Okay. I don't want to kick over his actual knee or his shin because that gives the option for him to catch me in a butterfly hook or lift or just do something nonsensical I don't want him to do. Okay, so if I can clear this on my kickover, he doesn't really get a chance to catch me. Okay, now the other thing I'm looking for is to not get caught by his wrist or his hand. All right, so if he's got his arm floating around here and I go to kick over for the arm bar, he can catch it and then I'll have to either try to go to mount off it or back step or clear all the way over to recover. Okay, so times I can kick over for that that don't involve just trapping the lapel in the arm. Okay, guys that reach under to play with my arm, if I can collapse this down on top of that, okay, just by straightening my arm, this, I only need to have it trapped for literally half a second, because in the time he's pulling his arm out, I'm kicking over and I'm getting my arm bar, okay, I usually go for the arm bar from here, instead of the triangle, because it's a little bit safer, it's a lot faster, people tap to this faster, uh, and if he was a big, you know, <laughs> okay, ate a lot of pain to express, I might not be able to finish a triangle, my legs are little, okay, so, if someone's doing something like keeping their elbow down and just kind of reaching across, maybe they want to underhook you, okay? Something like this, what I do is I take my grip on the knee, okay? I just use my elbow to trap their hand, just for that one second. And there's my kick over. Okay, that little bit of time where you couldn't catch my leg is time I can go, okay? We'll also get guys that do weird shit, like try to hide their hand under their body while I'm chasing it around, which is just incredibly dumb, but, uh. People are dumb, so then I just kick over. There's my armbar. Okay. If I want to force this, what I'll do is I'll take the time to pull the lapel out. Okay, and no matter what they do, like they'll try to hide this. Okay, I'm gonna keep chasing around until I just get a little catch somewhere from the middle of their forearm to their wrist. There's my trap. Okay, I feed it to my other hand. Now I know that this is not gonna catch me. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll turn his hips away from me. Okay, like I said, I don't want to do this if he's turned into me. I don't ever really want to play with his knee shin line. Okay, so I'll turn it away, kick over, right about here with my foot. I'll actually let go of the lapel because I don't want to get in my own way. And then I'm just looking to get my shin underneath his neck, okay, my calf, because now I have a good pinch between my calf and my knee line over here. Okay, I can lean forward to the side, put my hands on the mat even, because then I can really take my body weight this way and it lets me rotate my knee not fully around his head like this because I don't want to make space. I just bring it kind of up over his ear because I'm using my knee to push his shoulder line in, which gives me more elbow exposure. Okay, and I also don't bother fully overhooking this. You don't need to. Okay, as long as I've got this trapped off, pinched between my elbow and my ribs, I can just start to push my hips forward. And in the case where the guy is double jointed or just doesn't care if his arm breaks, what I'll do is I'll just go back, I'll grab his pants, okay? Do a full rotation over, and then I'll start to go onto my back. Now the reason I grab the pants is to stop him from just fat boying up, okay? I could use my legs to keep him down, but if I have his pants and he starts trying to come up, I can keep this leg off the ground, which makes it very hard for him to turn onto his knees. And then if I can't finish the arm bar with my elbow because he's got too much rotation, if I didn't pinch tight enough, turn your arm one way or the other, okay? You'll just let it slip through, and now I'll just start controlling this. And once I really get him locked down, I could use two arms. Now, the real trick on this, okay, if I really want to force this, like I just don't want to do anything else, maybe if I hit this, they have to ring the bell of shame, okay, so I'm really trying to force it, I'll take my elbow and line it up with my knee, okay, after I've turned their hips away, all right, I'm always turning their hips away because he can't trip very well from this angle, okay, I'll come under his hips, and what I'll do is I'll start to walk him up onto his side, okay, like I said, this is my angle right here, I can kick over, he can't do anything with his legs, and because I've got his arm trapped, he can't really recover here either. Okay, now I could just kick over, but what I try to do is get him to put himself back down. Okay, so in the time where he's going from here to here, he can't lift or do anything with his hips to try to catch me. So when I've got him up, I'll either force him back down or wait till he forces himself back down, and that's when I'm coming over. Okay, it's just another one of those times where no can defend. Okay, it's just very hard for them to defend. All right, and now don't let them turn into a full turtle. Okay, you should have control here. 
to the point where if he tries to, to continue the turtle, you can just kind of like sprawl towards his shoulder, hold him, grab his knee, pull him back. Okay, you've got a lot of options that don't involve letting him fully turn, okay? Uh, you could try to chase his back off of that. If he does turn, you can do some stuff to him, like I could go Ezekiel and all that, but I'm looking for the arm bar here, okay? Now I'll do the same thing for mount, all right? Especially when I get this lapel trapped, okay? Or this arm trap with the lapel. Now one of the things I'll do for mount though, is everyone thinks I'm strong, I'm not, I just cheat and use technique. So I like line my elbow up with my knee again, and then I can put my body weight on to pin the wrists down and make them feel helpless. And I'll start to come up under the shoulder. I'm always under the shoulder, okay? If I'm not under the shoulder, I put a lot of effort into getting under the shoulder. And now, depending on how he's reacting, like I could be acting like I'm going for Camor uh, Americanas and stuff like that. I could even be pinning this down. But I'm just looking for him to try to do anything because I'm underneath his head already. Okay, I could be grabbing his pack or I could be holding the lapel, all right? That's gonna let me scoop his head up as I kick under, okay? And again, I'm looking for a smooth triangle entry, even though I'm not gonna do the triangle. I could start to switch to the triangle. I just don't need to unless I need to, okay? Like if the arm bar is not working for whatever reason, I will go to the triangle, but I prefer to do the arm bar. But from out here, it's the same thing. Uh, come around this way. One of the important parts, and this is kind of like fundamental to arm bars in general, is knowing how to use your knee pressure to move his shoulder line around. Okay, because you lose the arm bar when you lose the elbow, but you don't hold the elbow to keep the arm. You hold the shoulder okay, with my knees. This pinch, go ahead, pull your arm down. Okay, well, you could pretend. <laughs> I mean, okay, so if I'm higher like that, or I don't really have his elbow line or his shoulder line, you see, you can kind of jerk his elbow out. But if I'm underneath the shoulder blade, he doesn't even really get the option to get any momentum going. And then without letting my pinch up here, like I said, I can bring my knee up here and finish that, okay? And once I pinch, my knees stay pinch, even while my shin would rotate over. Okay, so that pinch is incredibly important. So we got arm bar here. Okay, with the lapel trap, it'd look like this. Here, okay, I'd get it trapped. Like I said, I'd use my cheating technique, pin this down, get my hips, up a little higher under his shoulder. And now again, if I have the lapel, I'm gonna have to let go at some point. Right about there, right as my foot is coming over the hand, I let go, retract my arm, start to pinch on the shoulder. And there's my arm bar, you just finish this. And if I need to go backwards, I'll come down and get the hips first, either on this side or this side, I'll lean to that side so I can rotate my leg over, then I'll go back. Uh, also fuck everyone that said you can't cross your feet. You can cross your feet, okay? You just have to understand why you shouldn't, because when you cross your feet, you're kind of giving up either a little pinch pressure or a little curl pressure, okay? But it's not necessarily always wrong, okay? You watch all the black belts cross their fucking feet all the time in competition, okay? Don't let them fool you. There's my armbar. So again, here, like I said, I'm, I'm always kind of chasing the lapel, okay? This would be a force, these ones, would be kind of attack of opportunity anytime he's letting me just get a little trap here anywhere I can clear his leg and his arm okay so you don't force those it's just because he made a mistake maybe he's trying to underhook me and he kind of gives me that opening okay otherwise we are chasing chase walk him up he goes down All right push him down step over pinching is incredibly important and I don't have to bring my full calf around to finish this. I can just finish this here. Or I could do that, but you can see I give up a little pinch pressure because of how this overhook makes the angle a little weird. I'd have to come more forward and pinch more. But you can finish it just here. So one of my favorite submissions, uh, I cover this in a lot more detail in my uh, Daisy Fresh side control DVD. So if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Otherwise, I'll just keep posting shit for free. So <laughs> if you just wait long enough, everything will be online.